Hey everybody, this is Larry Calhoun, The Real Biz Coach, and I'm here to go over some information with you, and I'm hoping that you tune in. Uh, if you're seeing this video, that means you're a part of my special group on The Real Biz Coach Facebook page, and I'm hoping that you're sharing it with people uh, throughout your pages and sharing this valuable information, and hopefully you leave a comment, a pleasant one, that allows me to know how this information is working for you and your business. So I just want to go through for about five minutes a simple process that you can sum up your sales cycle. It's called the Real Biz Coach Coaching System for sales and marketing outcomes in your business. So I'm going to move you through a necessary action that if you have a product or service in your business and you want to utilize this system in order to grow it, then I'm going to give you the head start. Now, of course, as you know, I'm a Real Biz Coach, so therefore you can always contact me at the uh, inbox or you can Facebook me, whatever the case may be in order to get the information that you need in order to get services. But this information, I'm hoping to help you grow your business. However, if there's more information you need, you can always contact me for direct coaching. Your product is here. Most people have a product, they have a wonderful product inside of them, they have something that they've created However, they have not necessarily taken the next step in order to move that product to the next level. So what I'm going to do is show you in a very simple process what you need to do in order to move that product and what you need to do in order to build your team around that product. Or if you're a team of one for the time being, then I'll show you what you need to do in order to work as a team of one in order to make this work. So as you see in the first part, and you may not be able to see this information, you may have to zoom in, but I'll test that later. But I'll tell you what it says up here. It says number one is the sales action. Every time that every time a person has a product, in order for it to get money, we all know that it has to be sold. It's not something that people like to do. 90% of the people actually, uh, by statistics, show that 90% of people don't like sales. So this system is actually created to help you even if you don't like sales. So there's a sales action that has to happen in order for you to be able to grow your business. And I'm going to give you four of them. One is one-on-one -on -one meetings. One-on-one -on -one meetings are actions that you can utilize in order to just meet with the person one-on-one, -on -one, just as it states up there, and then you uh, sell that person on your product or present your product to them on a reoccurring basis. Cold calls, uh, that's a word that I uh, kind of ran from in my business, but some people will pick up the phone and just call the person and say, that they have a product or service that can help them with their business or their life and then find out the results of that audience and see if that person wants to meet with them on that one-on-one. -on -one. The next one is social media. You can post information out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, depending on your target audience, which we can talk more about if you decide to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but you're also welcome to go onto Google and YouTube and find out a little bit about those media platforms and find out which one may fit your target audience best. The next one is events. And when I say events, it's not something that to get uh, really excited about or overwhelmed about. I'm just being 25 to 50 people in a room that you can present your product to. I'm a real big person, a real big uh, a fan of small, intimate events that you can workshop with people to help them understand how well you know your product. And then you can then move them into a sale to action, call to action with your business product or service. Once you have a sales action, whichever one of the four or the combination of the four that you've chosen, you move into the number two by uh, automatic, which is a lead will come out of there. So in your lead capture, you want to have a lead capture system. That can be a person, it can be a tool. A lot of times you see people that will use an email as a lead capture system. Hey, I know that you just seen me at my one-on-one -on -one meeting or my event. I'd like for you to email me at mybusiness at mybusiness.com and that will allow a person to email you if they're interested in doing business with you and you can even have an incentive on why they should email you. That's if you're really kind of uh, on the edge of technology but don't necessarily know technology enough to use some of the more intricate funnel systems that you may hear about. Emails still work. CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software, is a software that you can use that also captures leads, much like an email, but it also gives you more information on that lead, where you can put the name, the phone number, categorize it, 
and also send them back an email through a template that maybe explains to them more about your services and it also has a way of capturing and allowing you to manage that relationship on an ongoing basis. So that's what CRM is. The third thing is phone and notepad. Yep, that's old school. So if you're simple, don't want to use email technology, kind of believe in going old school with it, that is totally fine. Write a phone number down, write their information down on what it is that they would like to talk to you more about in your business, and then you have now captured the lead. So don't get overwhelmed thinking that just because people are using online, social media, Facebook, those are all great things, CRM tools, cloud-based tools, but a phone and notepad still works wonderfully, so don't worry about that at all. I can show you how to make just as much money using a phone and a notepad as a person that is using an email or a CRM. So we came from our sales action, we've met people, we've, we've seen people, we found out what their needs are, they've had opportunity to meet with us and see how sincere we are about our product, and then we moved into a lead capture system, and either we have a manager there that's going to manage that, and like I said, if you're working alone, you can work these three items, but you also can have what I call a systems manager, which is someone that's going to mainly sit there and take in leads and interest after you get done talking, presenting, or meeting with someone on a one-on-one -on -one so they can follow up. If you're anything like myself, follow-up is not your strength, then you may want to have somebody follow up for you and keep that promise and follow up until that person engages your product. Once you get a lead, a lead is different than a deal. A lead is just someone that's expressing interest and are willing to move forward with you in some capacity, but they maybe are not sure. They have not given you a hard commitment, but they have at least moved into the action of wanting some type of information. Once you have that, you move into number three, which is you have a deal extract process. This can be a person or this can be a process. What I mean by deal extract, if I've done an event of 25 people or I've called 25 people and I have their names, phone numbers, and email address and they've expressed some form of interest in my business, then the only thing left for me to do is now offer them a deal, of offer them a uh, product or service that I offer, and that's what I call landing a deal. You want to extract the people out of there that want your service, and again, if that's not you, if that's someone doing it on your behalf, then either way, you want to have a process to get those people out of there and get your product in front of them and answer questions that it takes for them to move and call into uh, an action that will allow you to make money and begin the process of servicing that customer. So you got three options up here that I choose. One is you can be the person that goes through, calls everyone, and then talk to them about your business, follow up from your leads, and then from there, ask them if they would like to do business with you. Or you can have an assistant follow up with your calls from the leads or emails until someone wants to have questions answered and then you have those questions answered by that assistant who's equally knowledgeable with your product and yes, that's very important that your assistant is equally knowledgeable of your product and service because you don't want someone being very excited in phase one and then losing that excitement because the person that you pass them off to only knows how to make the phone call or know how to schedule or whatever case may be. You want them to know your product. So that assistant can follow through for you and then they should be uh, in a position to close that deal and help that person make a decision. That's very important. We can talk more about training assistants and some of my advanced coaching, but that's one of the things I just want to at least put on your mind. And again, these are things that you can YouTube, Google, and uh, find ways to be able to train yourself. But in the event you need some help, I'm here to help you. Thirdly, I love this innovation right here, is utilize an assistant, but you find a bookkeeper. Bookkeepers are very inexpensive people that specialize in managing books. They specialize in numbers and finances, and in your business is going to be based on numbers and finances. So inside the numbers and finance area, if this is what they do for a living, why not ask them if they could be an assistant to you to follow up with the deals that are based on numbers and finance? They love, they love learning about products and services because that's how they make their money, by managing products and services and making them profitable, or at least managing the profitability or the ongoing tracking of deals and products that have been sold throughout business processes. So if you happen to have a bookkeeper that's an assistant, you have a great thing. 
So look out and Google and even go on Craigslist or maybe meet someone from a tax preparer company and ask them if their business isn't doing a whole lot. Maybe they want to be an assistant to your business and still get a pay for doing the bookkeeping. They just get a bonus for managing products and deals that they close. It keeps them in business and it keeps you in business. Number four, can't do anything without having this number. You have to have a cost agreement. I put in there cost agreement because there's a cost to doing business. So in your cost agreement, which is also known as a fee agreement, you want to have a few things inside there. You want to have a fee sheet, number one, to guide people to how much your products cost. And then you also want to have a general contract in order to secure that relationship based on the fees that you have placed on your product or service. And lastly, my recommendation is that you have an attorney but if you're in the early stages of your business and you cannot afford an attorney, I know you may have heard of Legal Shield. We use Legal Shield. We actually offer Legal Shield as an affordable solution to allow people to fax over contracts when they're a little bit more complex than a general agreement. And then there's attorneys at a low fee of maybe $30 a month or so where you can have unlimited access to be able to fax over your business agreements and allow the attorney to look over that agreement to make sure that you have not missed anything in that relationship based on your intentions and the expectations of your clients. So that's number four, very crucial area you should be dealing with your fees. And again, your bookkeeper is making sure that your fee sheet is a profitable fee sheet based on your products and services. And again, the attorney is making sure that you're not getting in a deal that's going to put you in a position where you end up having to pay those fees back. Been there, done that, you don't want to do that one, trust me. Lastly, uh, second to last, I want to talk about number five, which is very, very, very crucial. It is the most important thing that I'll teach you in my six-step uh, process to your sales and marketing success today is service with excellence. You can do everything up here, one, two, three, four. When you get to five, if you don't deliver your product in excellence, that means timely, efficiently, to the specs in which you have described your product to be way back here in this presentation phase when you were out in your sales and action mode. You were all excited. You're letting everybody know, hey, this is the most wonderful thing. You're not going to be disappointed. Remember that day way back here? Remember how excited you were to get them to become a lead, to get them to say yes to your deal? Well, you have to keep that same amount of excitement in this phase and carry through the deal or the product or the service the way that you described back here in number one. You or if you have an assistant or somebody helping you deliver that product or a team, that's where they have to show up at. And you have to have a results driven product. There's a lot of products on the marketplace right now that are not necessarily result driven products. They specialize in hyping people up, getting people engaged, but they don't have a promise on the back end. You'll see a lot of our products coming soon that will say 100% money back guarantee. That's because we're a result-oriented organization. The Real Biz Coach is not just a name. It's a name that's standing on being real 100%. That means that we cannot be anything opposite to that, which means that if we engage you to grow your business, then that means that we intend on growing your business. So when we define that, it's the same way when you define it, you have to make sure that you're giving someone service with excellence and results. And right here, just in case you can't see it, it says crucial. This is a crucial step. Why is this a crucial step? Remember all that money that your marketer, your social media people keep telling you that you have to dump in the, the uh, social media campaigns, you gotta keep on marketing your business. Well, back in the day, they used to have this thing called word of mouth marketing. Well, word of mouth marketing is simply when you've done your job, when the movie has been so great that you look up and say, this movie was phenomenal, or this steak or chicken or whatever it is that you might eat is so phenomenal, what do you do next? Exactly, you tell somebody about it. So here, the last step is, this creates a buzz. And a buzz beats social media. If you don't have to get out there on social media, after the first time you get somebody into your sales funnel, wouldn't that be a blessing? People just start telling other people about your business for you, and you can eliminate this step from being so aggressive to now just being a receiver of people that have experienced your excellence based on the product that you've chosen for them. And that creates 
a cycle of success in marketing and sales. So again, I wanted to tell you about my sales action, lead capture, deal extract, cost agreement, service with excellence, and that creates a buzz for you to have ongoing and continuing inf information and ongoing and continuing success in your business. My name is Larry Calhoun, The Real Biz Coach, and that is the end of my session for today. I hope it's been some value to you. Share this post, tell other people, and we can move from there. Thank you.